competitive sport, people typically get quite stressed. And when people get stressed, one of two things can happen. You can perform better or you can perform worse than you do normally. And one thing that tends to happen in sport is that people are able to do exactly that thing they don't want to do, which is a fascinating process, and we call it ironic effects. That is, when people get under stress, they do the exact thing they don't want to do. So, for example, the golfer might hit the ball straight into the middle of the lake when that's a real thing he didn't want to do. Or a footballer might hit the ball wide of the, the post. That's the precise thing you really didn't want to do at that point in time. So we're exploring this theory at Bangor University on what makes ironic effects, what makes them happen. In everyday life, we have two processes that work in parallel, the operating process and the monitoring process. The operating process is a conscious process and it allows us to do the things we want to do. The monitoring process is a subconscious process and it makes sure we do not do what we don't want to do. So in normal everyday life, if I'm walking along the street and there's someone in front of me, the operating process says, make sure you carry on a straight line and, and go ahead in your business. The monitoring process says to me, subconsciously, make sure you don't, but you do not bump into that person, make sure you do not stumble off the pavement, those sorts of things. So in everyday life it works quite well. I'm able to go past the, the person in front of me and walk on. When we're under stress, however, the operating process starts to diminish because stress takes up some of our cognitive capacity, it takes up some of our brain storage, if you like. So the monitoring process then starts to come up and emerge as the, the most prevalent um, storage, if you like. So then what happens is that rather than doing being able not to do the thing I really do not want to do, I end up doing the very thing I do not want to do. So in sport this is important because if I'm trying not to do something, I'm not trying not to hit the ball wide of the post, I'm trying not to hit the ball in the bunker for example in golf, then I can start, or my body and my brain can start to work against me and that is by trying not to do the thing I really do not want to do, I'm actually making it more likely that I will do that thing I really do not want to do. So I'll end up hitting the ball wide of the post. I'll end up hitting the ball in the middle of the bunker, for example. In this experiment that we're now doing at Bangor University, we have some research to suggest that this happens in hockey, in football, in golf. And now we're trying to find out what exactly people are looking at when they do suffer from these ironic effects. So we're going to set people up with an eye tracking device on their heads so we can track the movement of their eyes to see where they're focusing on when they're under stress. The idea here is that we think that when people are under stress and we tell them, whatever you do, do not hit the ball wider the post, then we think they're gonna to start to look a bit wider of the post and they're gonna be more they're gonna be tending more to hitting the ball wider the post. That thing they really do not want to do.